Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I have a project share for you. I guess it's a project share. I just thought I would show you what I've been working on. So at my work this week, we are going to do have a little Christmas party, and we are we are supposed to bring um, a gift for at least fifteen dollars. Um, and it should be it can be a white elephant. It could be whatever. But anyway, I was surfing on Pinterest and I happened to see this, y'all. It was, it was, uh, this was sold actually on Etsy. The printables were. And it's ice cream bar, Sunday bar in a box. And I thought, I am going to create that for my gift. And I thought, what a cute idea this was. Now, I did go on on Etsy and I purchased this. I'll try to link that below of the of the uh, Etsy shop where I found this. But it was instant downloads. Now, this part right here, this is the way it came. And I layered it up with some red paper. But some of the other labels that I have put in this box, they actually, um, I kind of changed it all. So some of it is part of this because you could edit the file that you download. And some of it isn't. So let me just show you what I did. Okay, so I've already loaded everything in here. And this box is a 10 by 10, and I think it's by maybe by 5 in height. I didn't know where to find a box, so guess what I did? I called down to my um, the um, cake shop. It's, uh, hold on, I'm trying to think. Um, nothing but cakes. And that is just right down, not too far from me. And I called him and I said, I need a, a cake box or some kind of box. And I said, I'm looking for a 10 by 10. And I just could not find one. So the lady told me, of course, come on in. She gave me the box for free. I, in turn, did buy two bundlets um, from them and all that. But just out of appreciation, too. And plus, they have delicious cake. Um, so anyway, I took the box and where I have the red and black on here, let's see if I can show you, where I have that, it was actually had their blue stripe on it and it goes all the way around. So I didn't want it to be blue because I wanted it to be Christmas themed. And so I took some of my, um, I have some, let me show you, I have some vinyl. I got it Tuesday morning before. And so I decided just to cut myself a couple of strips, just enough to cover the white strip on here. And so that is what I did. I actually just took, cut it, and I made a strip. And I'm not going to flip it over because I don't want to mess everything up. But I can show you this part. See here. Oh, got it coming up right there. Um, so anyway, it goes all the way around. And of course, I, that way I can just cover up the blue and I could make it red. Um... So anyway, I'm really pleased by the way this turned out. And I thought I would show you guys what it looks like. So anyway, um, like I said, this was a free down or was a, a download that I purchased. I think the file was $7 on Etsy. And um, this part I did leave the way it was on the download. Um, but anyway, and then I, it came, I wanted it, I could have did this part myself, but I wanted it where it had the red and white striped on there or the diagonal. And I probably could have just layered it up on some paper too, but I don't know. I just thought it was cute. It was ready for me. I didn't have to do, well, too much to this part. But anyway, let me just show you absolutely how cute this turned out. Oh my goodness. Now on the box, this is the way it came. This is be sweet to each other. And so I just left that. And that's the way it comes from Nothing Bun Cakes. So I really appreciate them giving me this box. She didn't even make me pay for the box, y'all. So anyway, when you go look inside, and I'm going to bring this over just like this. It, um, you, it has a poem. And the poem, um, I kind of altered it a little bit. Um, so let me just read it to you. It says, Ice Cream Sunday Bar in a box. It says, Your gift this Christmas should be a ball because time together is the best time of all. It's not the newest gadget or flashiest toy, but something different to bring you all joy. After the hustle and bustle, you need a retreat, so settle in for this family treat. Everything you need for a relaxing is here except for the ice cream. Now, it also said, or maybe a beer. 
I don't like beer on there. This is for work. I don't drink beer. And so I, I deleted that off. And then it says, so run and pick up your favors, flavors of choice and crack open this box and all can rejoice. And it says, wishing you a delicious Christmas together with love, joy, and lots of laughter. I don't know why they would have put or beer on here, but um, I thought that was ridiculous. So I took it off because this is supposed to be ice cream sundae. Who has beer with an ice cream sundae? And anyway, beer is nasty. So anyway, then here is what my ice cream sundae in a box looks like. Um, let me move my water here. I'm just kind of afraid that I might end up spilling it on something and I don't want that to happen. Okay. So, the first thing that I did, and I'm going to try not to move too much. I finally got it the way I want it. So, let me just kind of move a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think I know how I can put it back. So, let me just see what I can do here. Okay, so what I did is I purchased a box of ice cream cones. And I think I paid like $1.50 for the box. And here's the ice cream cones. And what I did is on the print on the printables, it actually came with these were supposed to be in a circle. Let me show you what that looks like. I kind of cut this one up, but you can kind of see what it actually looked like. And because I did not want to leave things out of the box, I just just typed on to these other labels, ice cream cones, cut it out, layered it up on some red, and made it like a belly band. And so, as you see here, I put some red and green shred in the bottom. Now, I have these cups, actually, from when I did my um, my uh, my little peppermints, you know, my candy cane seeds. I had these left over, so it was perfect. I have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of them, and they were in the great colors, and so I'm like, score. Now, this actually was one of the things that um that came on there that I could cut out and so I just kind of fuzzy cut it out and it says ice cream cups and so I just kind of set it down inside the cups okay so then also um on the tops on the labels you were supposed to put the labels but the, the jar I bought was a little bit too small so I just changed these labels and put maraschino cherries on the label so I got that there and this one says chocolate syrup. It's actually fudge, but same smell, I guess. Um, I didn't want to have to reprint or do anything. So I really like the way that one came out. And then this one is caramel sauce. So I put that there. I've got plenty of shred. A nice, huge, gigantic bed of shred. Um, I also have some Christmas sprinkles that I put, um, put on here as well. So I'm going to put the Christmas sprinkles like right here. I'm taking a nap there. And I bought some Hershey's Hugs. And um, I just put those on the label. Uh, the label and it actually folds over. And I just put in some plastic. I took them out of the bag. Put in this plastic. And added the label on. I thought that was really, really cute. So let's see if I can put this back in here. And actually, and then I also bought some peanut butter bell ball bell peanut butter bells by Reese's peanut butter cups. And so I took them out of the bag and I put them in this clear container because I wanted to use that sweet label. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, something like this. Just kind of put these in here. Then I also purchased some Christmas M&Ms and I just kind of poured them out of the bag and put them in here and made my change the label to Christmas M&Ms. So I was like, okay, that is a good deal. I'm going to put that right there. And lastly, I have pecan pieces and these are just pecans that I purchased. I just opened it and poured it in. No touching was done in here and yeah, I love how it turned out. I'm going to add a little extra shred because you know shred is a major party in a box so I want to make sure there is plenty of shred so nothing moves around I think I can add a little bit down here like here and yeah how cute is this darling 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 so anyway I paid like I think these jars were like 
like um like a dollar ninety nine each. The cherries I think were like a dollar ninety nine. So that's already six bucks. I already had the cups, so I didn't have to buy that. And these were less than two dollars, so that makes eight dollars. And I think dollar twenty nine for these. The M and M's were like a dollar, and these were like two dollars each. So I might have exceeded the fifteen just a little bit. The box was free. Um, I did pay for the download, but I thought it was just so cute because I liked the peppermint looking um, design on here. But how cute is this? So tomorrow night, I'm going to wrap it up. And then on Tuesday, we're having a Christmas party at work. And so I'll be able to wrap. This will be my gift. And hopefully, whoever gets it will enjoy it and be able to take it home and share it with their family. And I just thought it would be a great idea. So anyway, I'm super, super excited about this one. I couldn't show y'all how I was doing it on camera because actually it took me quite a little while, probably like three or four hours, to finally do fix the box the way I wanted it. I thought about wrapping the whole box and I thought, oh, it's going to be a tough thing. But then when I realized I had some vinyl that I could put on here, I thought, okay, that will work. And um, it ended up being just fine. And what I'll do is probably put a little piece of washi here and on the sides and yeah, that way it opens up easy. But how sweet is this, y'all? It is so, so cute. I'm just going to show you one more time. Oh my goodness, look at that. You open it up, you've got your little, you've got the, the um, poem there. And you've got everything you need except the ice cream. But it tells you in the poem to get the ice cream. And voila, you have an ice cream sundae bar. How cute is it? I love it. Oh my goodness. So excited about how it turned out. Whenever I, um, whenever we do some kind of gift like this at work, like white ele elephant or just for a Christmas party or whatever, um, I like to put a little thought in it. And I really think that I put some thought into this one. So it was fun to make, fun to create. And how cute is this? And I might even create it again. Um, maybe I'll give to my kids at Christmas or Maybe I'll do something like this. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about what I'm going to do. But I thought it was just absolutely darling. I appreciate nothing but cakes for giving me the box. That was They didn't even make me pay for it. So I just said, I'll just buy a cake. Buy some cake, small cakes just out of appreciation and all that. And Plus, I didn't want them to give it to me. I was willing to buy the box. But anyway, it turned out so, so cute. Look at that. How cute is it? Anyway, I'll try to see if I can link the Etsy shop where I found these downloads um, below. And uh, I'll try to see if I can get that in there for you. And um, yeah, if you're interested, or even if you just want to recreate this as well yourself, um, yeah, it'd be super easy. Use it in Microsoft Word or maybe even try it on um, your Cricut Design Space or something. And do a printing cut. And um, yeah. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'm going to see if I can show you guys the poem again in case you want to see the poem again. There's the poem, if you can see that. But yeah, I think it's pretty cute, pretty darling. So anyway, yep, that's a, that's approximately $15 is what I spent. So yeah, it was just time. But you know what? That's okay. I had a lot of fun creating this. Um, anyway, I will be back soon letting you guys know what, what, what sold well and what didn't sell well at my craft fair. And, um, yeah, thanks so much everyone for watching. Y'all have a great evening and I got an Allmark film I need to watch. So, um, I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.